Hey, what's up, YouTube? So I actually got an interesting question on uh, in a comment on one of my uh, videos asking about the stock battery uh, for heavy people. All right, sorry about that. So anyways, yeah, he asked about the stock battery for heavy people. So I'm like 244 now. He's about 240, so he's worried about the range, you know, power, stuff like that. So I decided to put the stock battery back in. It's been a long time I've been running the... Uh, chai 72 volt 51 amp hour battery for a long time at 15 kilowatts so i mean going from a lot of power so this is bypassed but i set it at top uh, at stock voltage what our voltage wattage so i set it at 6k because this is a 38 amp hour um 60 volt battery for the 2023 Suron. so i believe it's at 6,000 for the tune and so yeah i just want to see uh one you know how does it feel with a fat guy on it and uh how does it compare now that I'm used to a 15 kilowatt tune with the um, chai battery. So, I don't know, just take it for a ride. My typical route is about, you know, maybe uh, 10 miles or something like that. The battery's at 98% right now. Yeah, so right off the bat, I noticed, you know, there's a big difference in power. Not off the bottom, though. You know, from stop, it actually doesn't feel that much different. But I don't usually, like, gun it really hard. Yeah, so there's there's actually a, a really big difference in uh in power because the uh, the chai battery pulls hard. This doesn't pull at all. It goes though. You know, let's switch apps here really quick because this does not show the accurate speed, and I want to get some top speed information. So, well, one, it does not feel underpowered for my weight. As you can see, it gets up to speed just fine. Do a top speed really quick. You know, so I hit 50 miles an hour, and uh, I'm running a 58 tooth sprocket too. So the stock it comes with a 48 tooth. You know, so it might hit 51 or something. I mean, definitely does not feel weak. Oh, there's my wife. There's my wife right there. Let's see if she notices me. <laughs> He's probably laughing at me because I look like a dork. A lot of the riding I do is just like this, you know, on the sidewalks. Not necessarily trying to go too fast, just kind of taking it easy. So we'll do this loop that I usually do, and then we'll go back around and um, hit some off-road shit. And then we'll see where the where the battery is at. You know, we started at 98%, so we can kind of calculate, you know, a rough estimate of what you can expect to get, you know, out of the stock battery. I mean, it's plenty of fun with just this, you know, stock. I kind of want ape shit, you know, upgrading this thing. And I don't really think it's necessary. That's just how I am with everything now. Gaming computers, I mean, you, you name it. If I, I usually get into something and I'll just kind of go OP overboard on it. But it's definitely not necessary. I mean, there is a benefit if you're going to be riding long distances to upgrade the battery. Yeah, this one I can probably get 25 or 30 miles out of, I would think. Maybe, yeah, probably closer to 30. Because on the uh, Chai 72 volt 51 amp hour, I, got, I can get pretty much 50 miles. And that's that's when I was about probably 20 pounds heavier than I am now. So I could probably squeeze a little bit more. Online, I've seen people get over 60 out of it. But I, when I was riding it, I was, you know, riding it mixed. So I was riding it pretty hard in some places, going up to 50 miles an hour or so. I think I did a 60 mile an hour top run on that during that um, range test. So if you're just riding chill like this, you, with that uh, chai battery, you easily get like 65 miles out of it. But I mean, you know, I'm already kind of used to the difference in the power, and it's still, you know, plenty of fun. So I definitely don't, you, I mean, yeah, you, you, you can totally have fun, get decent range out of the stock battery if you're a bigger guy. If you're, you know, 250, 260, I mean, when I first got this bike, I was in the 280s. And it was still hella fun. It was still felt pretty torquey. I still was able to power wheelie at one time. So you're not going to really be hurting for power. Um, your range isn't going to be that good. You know, you probably don't want to do more than 20 miles on it. But I mean, that's a pretty decent sized ride. Maybe 25. But you don't want the battery to get too low. Right, interesting looking birds. So on the uh, business front, so I uh, applied for my uh, LLC today. Said I'm going to be selling uh, competitors to the, the Suron probably. 
I might even sell the Sauron too. I'm not sure. So I just, just, I'm gonna be doing an e-commerce site to, you know, sell accessories and bikes and stuff for e-bikes. But I'm also gonna be doing like software engineering stuff. Cause that's what I do for a living. I can do a custom. I'm just gonna be building APIs if. Uh, doing API integration if you guys know what that is. Hoping to get some government contracts or something like that. Yeah, so anyways, and then I'm just trying to figure, I, I started building my own custom e-commerce site and then I realized, you know, the cost to host it versus the cost to do something like Shopify or something, it's pretty similar, but Shopify has everything already built in. So it's just a waste of time since it costs basically the same to build a custom version of it. So I'm just gonna use Shopify. Even though I already built most of that website. And it's set up to take PayPal, but like the thing is like like I said, sh shopping Shopify has Amazon Pay, Google Pay, PayPal, I mean pretty much all the payment options. Here's that family of ducks again. I recorded them the other day on a short. I didn't get a good few. <laughs> Those babies are getting big fast. Pretty crazy how fast they grow. I like having this Insta360, but it's kind of a pain in the ass editing because you can't just put it in like DaVinci Resolve and edit it. You have to edit it first in their own proprietary software, you know, and track where you want it to look and everything, and then export it and then add it to DaVinci Resolve where you can cut it up with the other videos. I mean, it's actually pretty easy to sync them because um, you could just use, I, what I use is the audio track where I can hear myself talking on the Insta360 too, and so I can just, you know, sync up my, my voice from the GoPro footage and the uh, Insta360, so it makes it pretty easy after that to cut videos. But it just takes takes more time because you have to spend the time editing the, the Insta360 video first before you can start cutting. But it's fine. Actually, uh, my uh, average view time, I've only done two videos so far with the 360. And both of them have higher average view times, and so my actual watch times are going up, which is good. I get most of my subscribers through shorts, but it's kind of hard to do shorts, so I don't... You know, I guess I could just take my bike different places right here, set it up, and just do a, a quick short. Almost like an Instagram type thing, but... I'm not sure how many people are going to be interested in that kind of content, just seeing my bike in front of a lake or something. I'll just try it actually, I'll do it right now. Let me go find a good spot and I'll just set up the bike, do a quick video on my phone and uh, see how many views it gets. And if that's the case, I'll just do that on every ride I do, try to find the scenic area or a cool area and uh, make some shorts. Uh, I can also, I also cut up like my regular videos uh, but like usually I only do it if I see like a, like an animal or something like that because those shorts get a lot of views It was right here that I saw the alligator the other day Yeah, I saw an alligator and two nutrias swimming just the other day right here in this this area All the spring flowers are, are starting to bloom Let's see. Let's switch over for a second to my BAC see where we're at with battery So 89 or what well, was so 90% my suspension sucks. I wonder if it's the rebound or what. Something's like really clunky when I hit bumps. I'm probably gonna decrease my tune anyways on my, uh, for the chai battery to like 10,000 or something like that. It's set at 15 right now. I literally never use that much. I can see how much is being drawn. There's just no point in having it at 15, I don't think. Every time I see something floating in the water now, I think it might be an alligator. Those are cool looking ducks right there. One thing about losing a lot of weight is, you know, your clothes don't fit anymore. So my pants are always falling down now. So I started at a size 40. Now uh, I'm at a size 36. I can uh, button up a, a size 34, but you know, still way too tight. So I'm thinking another probably 15 pounds, I'll be down to a 34. In my last video, I talked about um, all the lightheadedness and stuff I was feeling because of the diet. And that, that's kind of subsided a bit. I notice if I exercise too much, like, so I'm not doing the bike ride in the morning every day, but I am doing the half hour walk at lunchtime every day. So I notice on the days where I don't do the morning bike ride, I don't get that lightheadedness thing. So I think I'm just burning up whatever calories I have because I'm still, I'm in a fasted state, you know, and then by 11 or 12, I'm just empty, my, the tank's empty. And then I start getting like lightheaded and stuff. 
but I was plateaued for about a month in between 15 and 52 pounds so now I'm at 244 you know so I lost between six and eight pounds and it's been 13 days <laughs> so that's a lot of weight to lose in 13 days all right let's actually just do a shortcut here so let's go to the off-roady area I mean the power of the bike stock it feels good I mean it's plenty fun the bike I'm gonna be selling is, is gonna blow completely blow this out of the water though stock and it looks sick a lot better than this this bike I think I'm not done with it I'm still like kind of talking to uh, the manufacturer because I want to have like actual dirt bike brakes put onto it not mountain bike brakes I want to make sure the controller is you know can handle because almost it's gonna ship with a 12 either a 10 or a 12 kilowatt tune I'm thinking 12 and it's gonna come stock with a 72 72 volt 48 amp hour battery so you're gonna get you know 50 60 miles of range stock upgraded brake stock nice suspension stock I mean it's just for and it's gonna cost 6500 so for two thousand dollars more you're getting to where you would be on a Suron after spending like 11 grand or something 10 or 11 thousand so I think it's a good deal and like I said, I applied for my business license today. My LLC, I got that set up. There's an extra permit I need to get because I'm gonna be doing software engineering, so I'll need that for Texas. So I gotta get that done. And I gotta get my Shopify site up and running. I gotta get a uh, demo of how I want the bike set up shipped to me so I can do a thorough review on it before I actually list it for sale. Then I can listen for some, you know, and I'll do a bunch of comparative videos between the Suron and it. Honest ones. Even though I'm selling it, I'm still like a hobbyist. I don't want to blow smoke up people's ass. See, about 87%. I mean, you can tell already just from this video that, look, it's at 88%. So I started at 98, so it's used 10% battery so far. I've gone about four miles, maybe. You know. I'm 244 right now. I need to pick up a new uh, SD card for this Insta360. So it keeps shutting off because of the SD card speed. So now I could change it to uh, actually for this video, let's just leave it at 6,000 because I can switch it up to 8,000 because I have it bypassed the battery. But a lot of pretty birds. All right, let's go hit this little off roady area that I go to. Plenty fast enough on the stock to go, you know, keep up with traffic and stuff. Alright, I'm at 78% now. 79. Distance is 7.63 miles. Alright. Uh, see how this <laughs> Insta360 goes off road. It's like, it's got a pretty good stabilization software, but that's really putting it to the test. It'll be interesting to see how, interested to see how it turns out. Got bit the other day when I came through here like a, looked like a big ass fucking spider on my knee. Thought it was a, like a snake bite at first, you know, because it had the two fang marks. But I don't think it was a snake. That's, you know, I would have noticed. So, you can see, fat guys can ride off road just fine on the stock Suron. I mean, my sermon's not stock, but the battery is stock, and the suspension, everything I'm using right now is it's all stock, so it's it's stuck. I mean, this uh, KKE forks are not are not the best. I see how rattly it is. A well, part of that might be the battery rattling, but it, there's, it's usually pretty rattly. When I do my morning bike rides, I always see deer, deer in here, a group of does. Jesus, yeah, the battery's bouncing around. Yeah, the deer I usually I see are usually hanging out over here, and yet you have to be the first one in here to uh, see them because the first one in here just scares them away and they run off in that direction. I always see turtles swimming here. There's one right here. See them dive down there. It's hard to capture stuff like that on the GoPro. Maybe I can get it on the Insta. Yeah, see when it, even when the battery's down a bit, it still goes 40 something miles an hour. Let's see where I'm at now. 75 percent. You can see I'm not riding just slow the whole time. I'm doing like legit real world, you know, type riding. So, you know, some slow sidewalk, bike trail stuff. A little bit of off road, high speed. So 
So when I get back to my backyard here, we'll uh, take a look at some of the numbers, and see where we're at. All right, we're back. So this will come up a little bit. See, 73%. And let's see, how many miles do we got on here? So, so 10 miles. So we started at 98, we're at 73. So 25% for 10 miles times four, 40 miles. So, I mean, you're not gonna take it down that low, but conceivably at 244 pounds, you could get 40 miles out of it. Around, I would say 35, 40. So, not bad. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you next time.